Human Anatomy, the Arm. This video illustrates one of the most used parts of the human body, the arm. One can understand the intricacies of the movements of the arm by getting familiar with the joints and the bones which form the arm, and the set of complex muscles which make it so easy for humans to move their hands. The arm is part of the body that connects the elbow joints to the shoulder. In biological terms, it is known as the upper limb, but it is commonly termed as the arm. The bone in the upper arm is known as the humerus. This bone fits at the top near the shoulder blade, which is called the scapula. At the lower end, it joins the radius and the ulna, which are the bones of the forearm. The arm is divided by a fascial layer, which is a layer of fibrous tissues separating the muscles into two compartments. These two compartments are known as the anterior and posterior compartments. The ulna and the radius are joined by the wrist bones. The fascial layer joins with the scapula in the shoulder, resulting in the glenohumeral joint. This joint also connects with the ulna and the radius, which are bones of the forearm below the elbow. The humerus is considered to be quite strong, with an average strength that can handle loads and weights to about 140 kilograms, or 300 pounds. The large muscle which forms the shoulder cap is called the deltoid. The deltoid helps in raising the arm from the sides. This muscle also runs from the shoulder blade to the middle of the humerus. The latissimus dorsi is the chief muscle that helps lowering the arm. Latissimi dorsi, which is a combination of these muscles, runs from the back in a forward and upward manner and also passes through the sides of the chest wall. The coracobrachialis is attached to the middle of the front part of the humerus. This coracobrachialis is an elongated narrow muscle that runs along the middle of the arm. The front fold of the armpit is the pectoralis major. The armpit, which is known as the axilla, is a hollow space under the upper part of the arm, which is formed by the binding of the pectoralis major, the latissimus dorsi, the anterior muscles, and the humerus. The human body also has biceps, which help in the flexibility of the arm and these run from the posterior shoulder to the elbow joint. The arms can be straightened with the help of triceps, which run from the shoulder to the elbow at the back side. The forearm consists of two muscles, namely flexors and extensors, which are connected to the wrist and fingers. The axillary arteries, which are considered to be chief arteries, run through the armpit. By the way, if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, eLearning, for the latest update on high-end 3D anatomy videos.